Hey guys, welcome back to the Angry Joe Show. We just got back from Imaginary, uh, which is a uh, horror January horror movie that somehow yes. showed up in February because this March. thing <laughs> March because this thing was unscary, not not any scares at all. It was boring. The concept had potential, but yeah. it did not execute. So, save your, if you're wondering if you could watch this horror movie by the Blumhouse, save your money and go see Dune 2, if you haven't already, uh, see it second time in IMAX, if you have uh, seen it. Or fuck, go even see Kung Fu Panda 4. That series has been consistent over the year, so, yeah. This ain't it. I agree, uh, Imaginary <laughs> Joe. <laughs> My teddy bear Joe, or now this film's confused. Is it a, is it a teddy bear it's attacking CB. film, or is it an imaginary attacking film? CB, CB, Chauncey, and uh, Bing Bong, Ratatata, Bing Bong, Bing Bong, Ratatata, Bing Bong. That's a song. Mm. I... I uh, yeah, look it up. It's an interesting song. Anyways, um, hello, welcome. Uh, uh, Blumhouse, uh, Je let's see, directed by Jeff Wad Wadlow and uh, partly written by Wadlow. Uh, also, Greg Erb and Jason, Jason Ermland. I'm disappointed in these three because the concept, you could do a lot of different things. Imaginary yes. friends, uh, especially if you're going to go to another world, uh, this uh, imaginary place. There is so many wild things that you can do. And, you, and this film did none of it. There was so little scares in this film. Um, there was no tension, no creativity. This was tropes. Imaginary horror film. Is basically what it is. It seems like at least Blumhouse and I don't know the Insidious. Uh, what's the series with the old lady where they go to another place and they got they got to get the kid from the other yeah, place Insidious. and they got to bring the play, the kid back. It's this is every fucking horror film now from fucking studios and I'm tired of this fucking dry fucking. L lame. The sad part is like lacking. It's gonna make money. Like I, I hope said, it doesn't. Well, I the, hope so they, too. there were some ladies behind this. The, whoo, ha, e. There were one shot was blood coming from under a door. Oh. And, oh, <laughs> now they didn't get out much, probably, and this is their first horror film in a long time. And mm. if so, then you might enjoy this if you have not seen any other horrors in the okay, past no, two no, decades. I'm not gonna excuse that because they're old enough. To watch The Exorcist. Come on. Yeah, that well, was who fucking knows if they amazing. Even saw right. Yeah, this, <laughs> it was, it was really sad. It was really pathetic. Um, you know, honestly, I, I'd say, uh, just skip it. Just yeah. skip it. It's, it's yeah. not scary. It doesn't even deliver on its promise. And as it, it does, you know, on the Richter scale of horror, I want to be at a motherfucking, I don't know, 10. And we're hovering over here at 2. And then maybe the film dips up and gives you like a 3 or a 4 in the final conclusion. That final 15 minutes has potential, but it even screwed that up. Yes. The final 15 minutes remind me of the, those scenes in, uh, you know... Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice, or the hell is that noise? Deep Outside. Lower. Okay, somebody's working. somebody's working on the lawns. Uh, or uh, Bill and Ted's, you know, the hallway scene with the grandma trying to come and kiss you and stuff. That's basically kind of how it was. Very, very disappointing film. Go see Dune 2. What did you guys think? Uh, on the positive, this is better what? than Night Swim. Is it? <laughs> Oh man! I I gave okay, it, I gave man, it a two. I can't even remember. I think Night I gave Night Swim a two. It's that's just, not, that's it's the only part. It's scary, stupid, it and is. doesn't fulfill on its premise. They could have done so much cool stuff with the imaginary friend. They missed out on that. I don't care about the characters. The characters don't have any. Uh, I, I'm not rooting for them. They they don't have any arc. No nothing. Mm -hmm. And whenever she's trying to be emotional, it's like I don't if. It's fucking flat. I guess they do have an arc for the sister character, uh, Taylor. Do they? 
but she's not honestly i didn't think she was great there's not no. a lot of great actors in no. this but i do want to call out the little girl i was gonna say she was good that it, little like, girl she's right. for her she's age right. she's actually good and surprisingly probably better than some of the other actors that were there yeah uh, other than that like <sighs> there were no scares it was bored i was literally bored yep. waiting for something that happens like Oh, cool. We see a shadow. Oh, we see another shadow. In the background. Oh, another shadow. In the oh, background. Are we going to do anything background. besides Why show are we fucking doing this shadow? Over and over. And, and then the trailer shot is literally the scariest shot in the film, and they used it in the fucking trailer. Until you get to that 15 minute, you know, yeah. payoff. Yeah. Supposed payoff. So I was waiting for something to happen. It wasn't really intense, anything. And then. By the final act, I was rolling my fucking eyes. Right. Wherever, Joe, were you scared at all by the, the idea of this teddy bear becoming a, an, an, an no. alien? And that's not, I know, it wasn't even a scary monster design to me. It was just silly. And when you see it, it looked too silly to me. In fact, her art, because this is a story about Jessica and she's an artist. She draws art and she's got a children's book. And the spider from her uh -huh. uh, artwork is scarier than the goddamn monster, which they do utilize it, to do, you know, towards the yeah, end. Yeah, because she kind of remembers it and whatnot. But, and uh, she also has yeah, nightmares just, at the beginning of the film. It just fucking sucked. I didn't really uh, like it at all, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, it was it was aggressively boring. I don't think that this movie is better than, than Night Swim, personally. I... I I think that there's a cool concept here. Like, I love the idea of imaginary friends, and that could be something different. It, you know, it's something not of this world. Is it a fae? Is it evil? Is it, you know, what, what's going on here? Premise is cool. I just think that the execution and the characters and the dialogue and there's no tension in this film. Mm. And it's so, I mean, Blumhouse throws money at anything, right? They give it, they're like, oh, you got a, you got a dumbass idea? Here's $15 million because we're going to make $30 million on it. Guaranteed. We have dumbass ideas? Yeah, I got dumbass <laughs> ideas. But stuff that's better, it's going to be better executed than this. Yes. And so it's just, there's like exposition grandma shows up out of nowhere, like three quarters through the movie oh and just God. goes, explains exactly what's going on in the movie. And we waste the first at least half of the movie they like kind of introduce the concept but we don't do anything it's not developed yeah. it just continues to happen they're like this is the concept it's like i got it are we gonna develop it no, no. we here's the concept again it's like, yeah i got it are we gonna are we gonna increase Let's do tension some creative things with it shadow that's about it yeah and so i mean seriously there were these old and i don't maybe you know old old people got some good drugs nowadays like they're on some stuff and maybe the old ladies behind us because the largest gasp i heard in this movie is that she's walking up the stairs and there's a shadow behind the stairwell and all of the old ladies go oh and i realized then that this movie isn't for fucking me for i need to be on whatever drugs those old ladies on or i need to be fucking afraid of everything because this isn't a good movie and if this is what horror fans want i'm out i don't want to is go to the movies I anymore i fucking love horror films and yes this is not we it. love horror films and, go to a and, lot of uh them. the the f i don't even want to personally call the, the 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 person at ign that said that this is a movie that's so bad that it's good i'm gonna give it a six out of ten you know the no. fuck you're talking about no Get this is bad fuck bad. out of here it's bad bad Joe will show you that so bad is good oh what was the one the, the grannies one that you made rabid grannies rabid grannies that is so i don't know it's good <sighs> yeah all right well see and and that's not just the exposition grandma suddenly everyone starts exposition yeah. dumping uh, on the dialogue in the third act yeah, it's I'm like, like we the know. bare minimum <laughs> effort was put uh, in everything <laughs> what about bare maximum huh because he gets big bare maximum effort as he coming to you and it's just like you see me on the trailer uh i want i could talk more about in spoilers how they bungled the uh the final reveal at the end and the concept so we keep saying hey this concept of Children have imaginary friends. There's maybe demons that mm -hmm. can kind of latch on to these children. And uh, it's a great concept, but poorly executed. Either they didn't have the talent, they leaned too hard on tropes, um, and the screenplay, I guess, is, is kind of weak as well as the dialogue. That was generous so. of you. That's, that's nice. It's yeah, nice I'm to hear you to be positive about stuff. I'm trying because, like, I wanted to, you know... I think maybe I do like it more than Night Swim. Yeah, because like for Joe. me, I would think because like, like we when we go in Night Swim, you fall under the fucking water and it's dark and there's bodies floating and they're stupid bodies and nobody gives a shit. 
But here, at least you go somewhere creative, and it's like middle juice, middle juice, middle juice, but it's like shittier. Yeah, and, and also stay away like from the pool, okay? You know, Don't. so it's like I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I would hope that they could do something with it, and they didn't really. Um, no. Darn it. Darn it, darn it, darn it. It is a January horror movie mm-hmm. stuck in the middle of March. Isn't So this is the same guy who did Night Swim, right? We're not. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, so budget on this one, 10 to $12 uh, million, um, Directed Truth by Dare. Jeff. Kick-ass 2. Who are you talking about, Jeff? Yeah. Jeff Wadlow. Yeah, Jeff Wadlow. You're looking at Kick-Ass 2, Prey, Nonstop, Truth, Truth or Dare, Fantasy Island, which everyone yeah. loves. Yeah. Bloodshot, which of course we well, Bloodshot. He was a writer on. That's Vin the, Diesel. Vin Diesel oh, Maybe it's the other oh, writer shit. in this. The other writer in this is the one that did Night Swim because I thought that the Night Swim was there was, was some related. kind of connection outside of Bloomhouse because I know I'd have to look at thing. Greg Erb and Jason uh, Ormland. Anyways, it never really executed with no. the, its its concept, and there's really not much else to say. It really goes through the tropes. You, you get the family moving into a new house. Uh, the the neighbor, you know, she meets the cute boy, invites the cute boy over while she's babysitting. It's the same. The father leaves the house, you know, on a business trip, and the girls are isolated, and they have to figure things out. And this imaginary friend is telling the little girl to do crazy things. And the little girl is, like I said, is the best actor in the whole thing. When she's yeah. having a therapy session with the therapist, I thought that was one of the better scenes, especially with they the should reveal. have done more stuff like that, like earlier on. Yeah, mm-hmm. like for me, I would have loved it if like she they moved in the house right away, do and started fig- figuring out stuff. Then the girl is doing stuff that she's not supposed to. She's like, "It's not me, it's my friend," mm-hmm. and start playing on that. But it started way too fucking late, unfortunately. So that's what dragged the movie on, and it was boring. Not any scares. Not, not any scares that are worthwhile. We get a CGI bear monster that is revealed towards the end. We get a CGI sponsor, a spider-looking monster that she has nightmares about that's kind of tied to her they um, weren't scary, though. Uh, book. And she's like, such a great book. And we'll have some funny spoilers here that Joe <laughs> noticed in, in the spoiler section. So let's just talk more shit in the spoiler section no, okay. about how it didn't come together. Uh, don't waste your money, guys. No. Wait for this to come out on VOD. And then skip and it then. And go watch Dune 2 or, you know, do one of those. So let's go to final verdict. Three for me. Uh, Damn, I Joe, I thought very... you said you were going to give it a four. Yeah, but then the end happened. <laughs> 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 I was like, okay. right, that maybe, ain't really pissed then, you off, Joe, huh? Because it, it, it tried so to get creative. Stuff, it Joe. did. I was like, okay, well, you're going to do. Why wouldn't the score go up? Because it only tried to get creative. It, it wasn't creative. It, it, stole, was, it got stole stuff from better works. Yes. Again, like the acting wasn't very good. The writing wasn't very good. There was no tension. Uh, all you see is fucking shadows. And when you do see the monster, it's I not think, scary. It's not. I think uh, Killer Sofa is scarier. Than, <laughs> Killer Sofa? Is that a real movie? It is a real movie. Oh, I think God Killer damn Sofa it, Killer Cash, yeah. <laughs> But yeah, those are way better. And uh, yeah. I, there's I don't just, there's it. nothing to appreciate here. I was Nobody's trying like to. good at their art. Nobody is doing anything creative or different or unique. It feels like an amalgamation of all the stupid Blumhouse movies into one movie, but then painfully pushed down even more average and, and lame and gross and just stupid. Not gross because there's nothing. I wish there, there was, was something gross in this. There's blood underneath. Underneath the... Why was there uh, Why was there blood again underneath we'll the door? We'll talk about it in the spoilers. Yeah, okay. I can't, I can't even spoilers. fucking remember. Okay. Yeah, uh, right. I found Taylor to be pretty annoying as well. Yes, the and teenage the daughter, teenage incredibly board, annoying. Teen, yeah. Um, That's it. Yeah. That's it. Not a lot of... You don't have a lot of connection to the characters. And... Yeah. Okay. Alex, uh, yeah, this this gets an F. Uh, it is a complete and total failure, um, and it's an interesting premise. I mean, whoever came up with the premise and like wanted to develop it, I, I'm sure that there was better stuff written down. And I don't know whose fault it is. Um, I'll, although I I don't necessarily care as the consumer. <laughs> I don't care if it's Bloomhouse's fault. I don't care if it's the director. I don't care if the writer. They put out a garbage piece of art. It is not worth your time to go see. The there's not dialogue, there's not tension. No. They introduce there's one or two competent scenes. You're like, oh, okay, are we gonna are we gonna increase on this? We have an interesting thing where the kid is talking to himself, freaks out her psychologist, is like, cool, yes. real, let's double down, let's really continue, and then they completely ignore it for like an 
hour. And then we go to a cartoon at the end. And if we had started there or we had got there way sooner and it had been... I think the set designer had been yeah, I could better. Yeah, see something there. Yeah, I would have appreciated that. If that place had been, like, much scarier, because it honestly kind of looked like... It was fucking... I don't know how to describe it. Milk toast? No, that's the wrong word. It's, it's, it's just boring. Yeah. We're supposed to be in an imaginary place, and it's the most static, boring, stupid shit that's empty with There's nothing. There's no imagination. There's no there. imagination in the imaginary place! Yeah. It was just... It was borrowed from... It has doors! Like yeah, it was doors and it, it wasn't creepy and I just wanted, I, there could have been happy imagination places and then real fucked up imagination. Mm -hmm. This is the place that is the combined imagination of all of the children in the world. You'd expect it to be a little bit more fucked up than it is. Uh, and so like more stuff that's happening. So it's like, honestly, I just, I can't think of a whole lot of successes in this. Not from the writing side, not from the acting side, not the directing side. So it gets an F, yeah. which is like a three. It's it, This is a, a bad movie. Yeah, and it's not, it's not Joe three out of 10. It's not bad enough to say it's like a good no. film in any way. Like this is a waste. It was a giant waste of time. Yeah. And I'm looking at Rotten Tomatoes right now. Joe said it started like at 40%. Now it's at 30%. Uh, but the audience score is not there yet. I'm sure that'll jack it up. Yeah. According to the uh, ladies behind us. Best imaginary movie I have seen today. I could tell that they enjoyed themselves. So maybe you will enjoy yourself if you turn your brain off and you haven't seen any horror films at all in the past three decades. And you are scared of... I think that uh, are hairy, uh, big teddy bears with um, razor sharp teeth. It's mainly shadows. Or shadows it's in the background. Shadows. I love it when horror movies like tease you, oh, there's something in the background and you see it in an instant, but not when they do it again. 15 and times. Again. And again, and, and again. <laughs> it, there's just no, nothing yes. pays off from it no. and nobody ever jumps out and grabs you or does something stupid. Yeah, so. at, at one point you're like, oh, there's going to be a shadow. Oh, look at that. Oh, shadow. Okay. Oh, <laughs> Like that. Only, I'm gonna give it a three out of ten as well. What do you say, Alex? I, I think that there was a one part of the the movie where there was a little bit of tension, and it was the movie wasn't trying for it. The main character's like, "Hey, I was going through my dad's old things in his bedroom, and I found this camcorder." I was like, "Lady, do not open it. Do not Don't watch play. that video. Do not hit play." And, That's not mom. <laughs> yeah, and so it's just like, "What's Aunt Doris doing here?" Well, it was. Um, uh, it was but her it, home movie. It wasn't that. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, well, this yeah. movie sucked. It was a disappointment. It's not scary. Don't waste your money, like I said. If you want to make fun of it, you want to see how we make fun of it, or if you have seen it yourself and want to try to get your money back to have fun with us, let's go into the spoiler section. Mm -hmm. All right? And I'll see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Hey guys, welcome to the spoiler section for Imaginary, the Blumhouse uh, uh, film that is boring and, pfft, and poopy and has no imagination. It's just filled with a bunch of tropes. So, yes. uh, when Jessica, our main character, who is an author and has a, you know, a book about a spider getting with a caterpillar. Um, chasing it the entire chasing, time. Chasing. She has bad dreams uh, and she's just not, things aren't going well for her. And she decides, well, you know what one of my happy places is? is my old house. You know, my, I grew up there. You know, my dad used to love me and all this stuff. Now, her dad, unfortunately, something happened to him and he's in a psych ward and he's, he's definitely changed. Not the man he used to be. Well, she says, my happy place is this place, so let's go. So they buy the place, and they go, and they, they oh, what? Did, but it's not finished painting yet. It's like, yeah, but let's do something quirky together, and let's just go live there now. So they do it, and the, the scenes of the family setting up is competent and okay. Um, you know, like I said, I didn't have any particular attachment to any of the characters, no. not Jessica, not the husband, not Taylor, the annoying, uh, teenage, but she's supposed to be annoying. I did like, uh, what's the girl's name? Hmm. The little girl. I don't know her name, but maybe Gloria. Is it Alice? Gloria? Alice? Okay. Alice. That's right. It is Alice. So, um, I did like Alice's character because, um, when she moves into the new house, um, they play hide and seek and she goes into the basement. 
She it's as if she's being called into the basement because uh, our main character Jessica Jessica has to take a phone call. They're like, "Where's the next book? What's going on? Uh, give us your next creative thing." So she goes down in the basement and she finds a bunch of boxes, moves them, and finds an, an, a secret compartment area. She goes into the secret compartment and finds a bear. This is the bear that they use in all the trailers and takes the bear and then goes upstairs and Jessica's like, hey, I'm sorry, Alice, I didn't get to play, you know, hide and seek. She's like, I don't care. I got a new friend now. <laughs> Closes the door. And from then on, we get uh, various scenes of Alice and the bear. And because Alice is a great child actor, I like some of these interactions, uh, you know, especially when the parents at first are encouraging of it. So I like that. That it's not this whore trouble. It's like, oh, just, uh, stop playing with it, blah, blah, blah. No, they're encouraging because, I don't know, the father says he had one when he was a, a kid. Every kid. They try to push. Every kid has had an imaginary friend. Joe, did you have an imaginary friend when you grew up? They walked down on me. <laughs> Alex, did you have an imaginary friend? I don't, I don't remember if I did or not. I, I, I know I would create imaginary scenarios with my G.I. Joe action figures over at Sam's house with you, with you, Joe. And I remember Sam would never fucking die when we shot him. We're like, Sam, you're supposed to play. Like, play along, man. <laughs> you get kids. You're supposed to die now. And he never would die. And I'm like, God damn it. You can't play right. You got to play right. Anyway, <laughs> enough about G.I. Joe's and Legos at Sam's house. This eventually they start to get concerned because then she starts to do the voice. She starts to do Chauncey's voice. Chauncey doesn't like you. Cha this and that. And and it's getting to the they're getting a little concerned. So because Chauncey has a list for her to do, apparently some kind of summoning, uh, so, you know, to take her away and go on a trip. And this is where the movie does the payoff. But this thing feels like it's insidious. It feels like these other movies where it's like, okay, these things happen, and then you go into the demon realm, and then you go into the demon realm, and then you get the thing back from the demon realm. It's like, hasn't this happened in movies like six times now? Yes. <laughs> okay, if it's going to happen, fine. You have to be creative. And it's derivative. It's less creative in every aspect and every turn. It's less creative. Anyways, they eventually get a therapist for her, right? Just, just one of y'all guys is taking. Yeah, she said here. she's been in therapy for a really long time because her mom's been in the the psych ward, and so the therapist shows up and uh, they start. You know, they do an interview, and the little girl faces away from the camera, and she's doing the the, the bear voice, voice mm -hmm. to the point where even the Chauncey, the the imaginary bear, is threatening the therapist's granddaughters, mm -hmm. and it's like, "I'll kill your ugly grandchildren" type stuff, and she's like, "Uh." And it freaks her out. And so mm -hmm. it just kind of sets us up. The problem is this is, well, like an hour and ten minutes into the movie. And nothing Best scary part. has even happened. Oh, wait. We, we skipped over the boyfriend or the oh the, 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 the neighborhood hot guy. The neighborhood hot guy who was trying to give Molly to a girl he knew was 15. And he is definitely not in high school anymore. Or probably. He's yeah. talking about going to bars. So it's weird. Like, it's like, ah, uh, okay. Um, so he max on a girl that's underage, mm -hmm. uh, comes over when she's babysitting, and uh, is like, I got some. And the dialogue's so bad here. It's it like is. nobody talks like this. And it's just creepy, too, with the yeah. ages. Anyway, so he brings out this bag of pills, and he's got, uh, he's already got a pill. Let's take one. Uh, I, thankfully, this movie is like, you know, the girl doesn't see. No, because that's not it. At first, she doesn't seem into him. But then all of a sudden, she's like oh, head over heels in love with this guy or whatever. And it's like adores him. I don't know what the fuck But she going didn't want to take the it's drugs. so fucking stupid. Well, it turns out those drugs weren't Molly. They were... His allergy, mom's allergy, allergy, allergy medicine, yeah, something like that. But that's fucking. That doesn't make any sense because it's when he has the pill, funny. he's like, uh, he's, oh, I'm tripping balls, I'm high or whatever. It's the placebo when the bear effect. starts to fuck with him. Yeah. Yeah. Anyways, he's being kind of a jerk to Alice. So Alice is like, you should eat him, Chauncey, because Chauncey's always hungry. She makes a passing comment, and Chauncey takes it serious. So the demon's like, I'm gonna go fuck with this guy upstairs, and that's what we saw in the trailer. Literally, 
the trailer shot is what did show. It is, there's not. And I was hoping for a good kill, but we get zero there's kills. There's not even a kill. So the the problem one, but there's not even a kill. One, yeah, the, the problem is we're we're super far into the movie. So they spent the first half of this movie fucking around. There's no tension. There's no urgency. There's no danger. No, no. And then the first opportunity we have for danger, where they absolutely can kill this kid. Right? Mm -hmm. He's trying to give drugs. It's like you've done everything you can to yeah, shut this to guy set him up. It's a piece asshole. of shit. He pisses on the floor too and wipes his piss on the towel because he got scared yeah. of the bear right next to and him. so it's like you have set this kid up to die it's like cool this is where Let's we establish that this fey monster okay, yes. is Fucking dangerous do it. His head off. And, it, do it. and it just lets him walk out of the house and nothing happens whatsoever and it's like okay See, this is what kind of this movie is because they're gonna this is so tame they're gonna it's like uh, I don't even want to say blue balls because it's not even half jerked off well, no, well yeah it's, it's Saturday morning cartoon <laughs> shit it's so no. weird yeah because yeah, so he's gonna balls. get a little more Come here, cartoony <laughs> here. All right, so that that was the first so, somewhat setup that this film is dangerous, but it doesn't feel dangerous. Yeah, uh, especially when the CGI effect is literally it's shown for the same amount of time you see it in the trailer, and it's not uh, and it's not intimidating. And it's payoff not good looking terrible. too. It's it, it, it's, no it is bad. Okay, so then one good thing in the movie. Okay, this is why we're at a three and not like a two or a one is when they get the therapist, we have an interesting scene. She's doing her therapy. She's asking her questions. The girl is uh, confronted. Say, talk to Chauncey. Tell Chauncey how that made you feel when he wanted you to hurt yourself. Says, why did you do this, Chauncey? You're not my and then she's, she's getting more and more emotional. I'm like, man, this is a great actress. She's, she's like six job. years old and she's doing a better job than everybody else to fucking film. And she's like, ah, watch her, Chauncey. And then she talks turns around to the therapist and she's still talking but her, her mouth isn't moving she's crying so it's like oh cool this could be creepy i could get the creeps i didn't have the creeps but i'm like okay we need more of this and this could do it and then they do a cool twist where it turns out when she turns around there's no bear there we, we don't see it yet because when the therapist says okay hey we we gotta come here jessica we have to talk about this and then Jessica's like, you know, it's with the bear, you know, it's, and she's like, what, what are you talking about? What bear? So it turns out that the bear has never been in the film. The, 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 it was Twist. all in Jessica's mind because when Jessica was a little girl, she, Her and they did house. some flashbacks before where she's running around and she's happy and she's being creative and she's drawing stuff and it was innocent before, but now she realizes, oh shit, it's connected to me. And then she goes through all of her stuff and she sees little bears drawn into every single picture that she used to draw when she was a kid. So that was cool. I like that. The only person that sees the bear. She's yeah. like, uh, uh, you know, um, Taylor, did you see the bear? No, I didn't see no bear. Yeah. Bear, bear. I like I like that part. The she she goes through all of her stuff from a like it's a horror trope. We've seen it a bunch of times. Where it's like, oh my god, I need to go back and look through the things that happened to me as I was a kid, and you find progressively more fucked up things. And they completely flubbed it here yeah. because there was an opportunity yeah. for here to watch her old home movies mm -hmm. and see fucked up shit fucked that she'd never shit. seen before yes. and see old pictures and be like, what the fuck is that over there? And so they, they can't did. even do the tropes that they're copying well enough. Yeah, That's what, like we said, you're copying other people's work, but you're doing so much worse at it. Than they are, and all we get is she has all of these pictures, and there's a little bear in all of her pictures. Yeah. And it's not even like she discovered. It's like the very first picture she goes, "Oh, there's a bear. There's a bear. There's a bear." So I, it's funny because the bear's written like everything else is super colorful, but the bear is like hidden in the pictures. Like yeah, why would she draw the bear hidden in the pictures? If she, but then it gets less hidden and more and more as more and more pictures are shown. So turns out that the bear is the BG, the BGs, CB, CB, CB. Okay. Chauncey Bear. Which doesn't make any sense. She's like, that was my childish way of saying Chauncey. It's like, yeah, but the little girl here can pronounce Chauncey. What are you, what are you stupid? Like, what are you, how come you can't pronounce Chauncey? It's not like you were younger than, than hers, but she says CB. And then as this little girl disappears, yeah. Mm -hmm. She disappears. She yeah. disappears. Uh, I guess she completes the ritual because she was upset that she had this therapy session with her imaginary friend and her imaginary friend got mad at her and so just like a kid would do and this is like this is the only person i feel for in this film and i thought i did a good job she went to go apologize to chauncey you know and and as she does so obviously the demon's gonna be like okay let's complete this ritual and make me happy and she goes and she uses the pain she's painting the door 
And this sounds better than it is. She's banging the door, and then she disappears, right? And we do the poltergeist thing. Well, they, they've perfectly set up this whole thing. This link, the, She's been terrified of fire the entire movie, mm-hmm. and she doesn't want to do that. And I'm just kidding, because they, they it's there. It's in the movie. I imagine there's a bunch yeah, of scenes cut out where she's a giant a burn girl. on her. She doesn't want to use matches. And the, the whole movie ends with her burning the whole house down but she's overcome her fear that they didn't yeah, set up at all how they do because the arc <laughs> this 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 thing this whole movie was either directed written or edited by an amateur because it is bad she's like i won't do that chauncey with the arc and then i guess chauncey does it for her because she doesn't because you see a monster behind because the yeah, you, oh, yeah the yeah, old ladies right. behind us are like oh there's a shadow yeah <laughs> So, it's like, that's a 50th time, Warren. Yeah. How are you scared of so, a fucking several shadow? Several times this old lady, this old grandma shows up in expedition dump. She's like, I used to be your caretaker, your babysitter, and then this and that. But then they just ignore and move on. Now. Uh, but yeah, she's talking to Taylor. And they're like, oh, Taylor, come into my house, which is yeah. kind of fucking creepy. So now when Taylor's looking for her, for her, for her little sister, she runs into the grandma again. Go ahead, Joe. Yeah, runs into the house. He's like, oh, yeah, I've been writing books about this. Here, take this book. Five ninety nine. You want me to autograph it? Ten, <laughs> yeah, because she wants to be a famous author. <laughs> yeah. So she's telling him about all these entities that cl- <laughs> cling on to uh, the children. It turns then, out there's only one. There's yes. not many. There's only one. There's only one. Chauncey. And then once... Uh, they get detached, which Jessica just left all of a sudden. That would be cool, Alex, if we saw the rest of the imaginary friends. <laughs> That's what I was it's mentioned a few times that he, well, he wants to you he wants to take us to his friends. Yeah, yeah I thought I thought it kind of happened because like yeah, you see the video one? of the the therapist. And he's like, oh look, I saw this case over here. I think yeah, all we know that there's they're others. All, we know that there's okay. others. But when we go into uh, yeah, the imaginary yeah. Oh, sure. realm, yeah, I, I was expecting that. different looking monsters and different imaginary things. But no, it's just Chauncey. Dude. And Chauncey does, I think, convert himself into the spider from Jessica's stories. Yeah. yeah so point. she's explaining is like, oh, once the tether is uh, uh, detached or whatever. It, it stops being friendly and it starts getting hungrier and hungrier and it becomes evil and that's yeah, why. And it was because Jessica was taken away from house, uh, yeah. abruptly from her imaginary friend and he still lived and and then we don't get to see the payoff of that until they go into the imaginary world. But, but was, wasn't he evil the whole time because he kid he kidnaps Jessica when she's five years old? Yes. Yeah. I guess this particular one was always evil, and they reference other ones that are benign, oh. but we never see the other ones. Well, this and we one, never I seen guess that. they mentioned you, uh, uh, yep. she knew he was going to leave, so he's like, no, don't leave, and then I'll keep you here This forever. one was evil. I don't know. Yeah. Guys, this one was evil. So then next what happens... Uh, so then, after fucking Taylor, who hates Jessica because it's a replacement mom, uh, we did forget to mention the actual mom comes by for one jump scare where uh, Alice is having tea with Chauncey and she's talking with somebody and Jessica's peering in. And it's like, wait, this is kind of, oh, shit, I heard somebody talk back. It sounded like a female voice. And you see some feet move and I'm like, okay, this could be interesting. And then it jumps out. It's a jump scare. And she got out of the psych ward what and was she was texting her with her. In the- Teenage. What's the whole point of her character? No, it no, explains no the trauma of the children. It explains the trauma of the children. No, they had trauma. That expertly crafted. And that's why Taylor hates Jessica because she's a replacement mom. And is like, I don't like you. I like my old mom, even though she has problems and I want to try. He's like, I'm sorry. I texted her. I'm sorry. I could say she can come. So they take her away and put her back into the mental ward. But never spoken of again. As I say, we could have done it a better job. Okay. We didn't need her. So, yeah. <clears throat> and then, uh, okay, so finally, uh, she's like, uh, Jessica's like, look, uh, trying to explain to the teenage girl, we need to work together to find Alice. And I know this is going to sound crazy, but when I was a kid, my imaginary friend, and then so I think the imaginary friend took, and she's like, shut the fuck up, because she just hates her. And then she leaves. I'm going to go for another walk and try to find her. You do whatever. And that's when the old grandma finds her, uh, shows her all this stuff. And then after she shows her all this stuff, Jessica sh- or Taylor goes you. back let's to go. the house and says, I have believe you. And she's, like, <laughs> and she's like, okay, let's do this together. So then what happens after they that? They go that into point, the scavenger Alex, hunt. Go ahead. They start doing the scavenger hunt. He's like, all right. Oh, the list. The, oh. We, we need the list. She's gone. She went to an imaginary place. Let's go to the imaginary place. How do you do it? The list. Yeah. So she's painting her old room and she kind of sees part of the list, but she doesn't see the other ones because it's kind of faded. And Taylor's like, we can't even see it. It's faded, Jessica. Shut the, the fuck, fuck are we going to do? It's like, 
Jesus Christ, like, lighten up, all right? Yeah, like, you don't have to be a bitch the entire fucking time, but, but ex- I guess you're written that way. But Exposition Grandma's there to save the day, and she goes, oh, actually, the back of the list is you need to hurt yourself, you need to burn yourself. She also it. took a picture, too. Yeah, yeah. Well, well, only the front of the list, but not on the back of the list. Exposition Grandma has to tell them what's on the back. Yeah. Well, so, actually, yeah. it was Jessica that remi- remembered most of them, and Grandma also remembered them, <laughs> filling in the blanks. Yeah, so both of so. them do all the things, and they get a little bowl, and they put in all the things uh, for Jessica specifically and then she's like, oh i gotta hurt myself that's right because the little girl smashed her hand into a nail or actually the little girl actually missed the nail because she caught her in time but it mm-hmm. still made her bleed on the side i was like good she didn't get hurt anyways so she stabs the fucking scissors into her hand and then she puts the scissors into the bowl with the blood on it and she puts the match in there and then nothing happens or but, actually, something happens. The wind blows, and they're like, "We got it." And then the grandma's like, "Yeah, I my ideas are," but uh, nothing happens. Can't you just like slap yourself or punch yourself? That kind of sure. Hurts. Yeah, you can do that if that's what the demon wants. Because that wasn't all enough. Have, all you have to do is slightly scratch your arm, and then that's yeah. Enough. She and then herself. in a therapeutic moment for me, because I think Taylor's a bitch, and the audience all yes! hate Taylor. Uh, it, <laughs> yes. it, it makes it seem as if Jessica turns around and she's possessed by a demon and yes. just starts ripping into Taylor. You stupid bitch, you've been ruining this movie this whole fucking time. All of the shit that comes out of your mouth is the dumbest stuff I've ever heard. And I want it's you to just die like on your mother, impact. which you should never <laughs> say because you will die. Yeah. Basically, she said more of that, and yeah. and then uh, that really hurt, and it, it hurt Taylor, you could tell. And earlier in the movie, they tease, she texts her, there's nothing you could say to hurt me, and that time it hurt her. And then the demons are like, and then, then so the, the, flame turn, the flame turns blue, and mm-hmm. then the blue door opens, and but she was you, like, you I'm sorry. That's the big moment, though. That's What's the big, the big moment? moment. It turns blue, and then the Taylor's like, oh, that hurts you saying that you do love me, <laughs> Uh, That's what really hurt her. Mm-hmm. There wasn't the stabbing. It was her telling her, this is all your fault. Right. You're just like your mother. <laughs> oh, that hurt you. It did hurt. Well, I, I, I bought it. She did cause pain. It's like, oh, it's not the pain, physical pain, but the pain. Of, Could you uh, think being, about it like being the, mean to somebody else? Being mean, you're just like, oh, man, remember that TV show we like got canceled? Oh, it hurt so bad. And then that's. <laughs> Blue yeah. flame. Oh <laughs> Jesus! Okay. <laughs> Firefly was canceled. <laughs> All right. Uh, or uh, uh, Raised by Wolves was canceled. <laughs> yeah, Ridley Scott. I liked Raised by Wolves. I wanted the third season. Anyway, so then the door opens. They go in. What's the imaginary world, Joe? Checkerboard tiles. Checkerboard tiles. Some cotton. Some cotton on the roof. <laughs> some cotton on the roof with la- <laughs> lightning. With, with, I was like, are we going to budget? Lights. Are we going to budget? What's going on here? <laughs> so stupid looking. And, you know, the upside All down staircases, doors. the dumb, stupid yeah. doors. And I was like, oh, man, that's it. I was like, all right, don't worry. Behind each one of these doors is going to be an amazing it's be world. Something cool. And I was like, yeah. And it never happens. Like, all the action happens in these in this dumb set that is stale and boring. And then... And so the grandma was like, hey, yeah, my, my was always right. Uh, all the people that thought I was crazy, my books are going to sell or whatever. She, no, she wants to live there. She wants to live there. The, the demon, who apparently can only commune with uh, children, has been communing with old grandma this whole time. And she's been a double agent. She's, so she that w- now it makes sense that she knew everything because the demon was telling her everything. But it was still stupid. Yeah. And so she wanted to be there. And she takes away their only means of escape. And, and as she's cackling in there, she's like, well, I'm going to be so happy here forever. Ha <laughs> uh, A bear, the cartoon. A door opens. A door, and the the terrible. I mean, it's like, like a, a paw. A paw grabs her, and she's screaming. <sighs> and then uh, this was so disappointing. Yeah. And you don't even see any blood. You don't see any gore. On the bottom. She just drags, and, <laughs> and then, then corn right, sort of blood and, comes out from under the uh, door. That's where the blood came yes. from. Because I was like, and that's the our one time there was blood, kill. but they made sure to detach it from the scene. The scene was over, yeah. and then. Really? And when she's and when like, she's oh. monologuing and being crazy, she's like, I can understand her if she's old and shit. And she's like, I can be young again. And then I was and I was like, okay, do the thing. Do 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 shit. And she, and she turns into a little girl. It's and imagination. And you imagine, can do whatever you want. Her imagination in imagination you do land. You want. None of it. No. For no reason, a door just opens and gobbles her up and, and that's it. And I was like, oh, that was lame as fuck. And then they start, I don't know, they're just like, why right, the you got to find Alice now. Why did the demon kill her? 
Exactly. The demon only like the because spoiler, the only one. Yeah, the, the, only the demon wants... doesn't want Alice. The demon doesn't want anyone there. But the demon wants Jessica because Jessica's imagination is top tier. Yes. And so she, the, they don't even care about Alice that much, right? No, it's a little only, bit. She's but, bait. Yeah, yeah, she's like she specifically says, I, "Alice was bait. You only wanted me." And the demon's like, "Yes." It's like, why are we killing a woman? Other yeah, than for yeah. the trailer shot. That's so the then they go find Alice they and, split up. and they split up and it's stupid. It's stupid. They they don't all go through doors and and have their own fears. I mean, they not it's not executed well, right? No, and then like, they find okay, so they find her in in a uh, in her old apartment. So they open a door. But before that, yes, though, go ahead. Before that, they get split up accidentally because she's like already in the doorway and the door closes. She's like, "Oh no, Taylor!" She opens the door and turns into a park. But mm-hmm. it's just like, uh, like stock footage of a park. And like, uh, Did you close. go into the park? Nope, nope. nope we just, can't go in there because there's budget. There. Yeah, <laughs> so she the closes the door. So that's what I missed. So, so that we yeah. get... It said Getty Images on the bottom right. <laughs> yeah. You used to didn't see it. So it's just a park. This she closes bad. the door. Then we go back into uh, a little empty room where we see the night light spinning in circles. Oh, right. With the okay. thing and uh, the Blair Witch moment. Alice is in the back. She's like, Alice, is that you, Alice? All these Blumhouses have some kind of uh, studio mandate that you have to have some kind of creepy chime or something. And in this film, it is a nightlight yeah. that spins and goes. Ding, 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 ding. It's too happy in my. If had it been like slower and distorted, so Keith, we were just talking about Keith. Yes. Keith has this fucking haunted windmill chime that Will gave him. So I'm, I'm uh, It's it's crazy, and it makes the most horrible, fucked up sound because as the, the temperature changes, the metal things start to creak, and it makes fucked up, horrible things. And this was like happy music, it and was. it completely it didn't kills it any tension. It. And then the bear star, there's stars, and one image is a bear, and then the bear lines up with a random cartoon bear on a door, and then, oh, that summons the bear. And so then she just unplugs it just in time, but nope, it's too late because the bear's standing there in the corner and just... <laughs> and it's like, all right, I guess this is one good shot for the old ladies in the back, and then it's ready to come at you, and then... So then what happens? Jessica reaches Jessica through the poster rips with the and scissors she still has. Oh, yeah. Jessica yeah. just pulls her out of the room before anything happens. She's like, never, it. ever leave my sight no, until I tell you to. No, she manages to, what, unplug it so that the bear doesn't come after her, right? Before it lines up. Before it lines up, yeah. but the bear still pops but, up but, anyway. But how did the, but the bear does pop up anyway. It does, yes. And it's there. Why doesn't it approach her? We, we think it's because the bear is actually a weeping angel or a ghost from Super Mario Brothers, where as long as you're staring at it, because she's trying to plug the thing in the wall, oh, right. and, That's and she can't was. find the mm-hmm. hole. Uh, and then when she finally finds it, and then... it's the little girl again, because we forgot to mention a random little girl who is standing in a corner, and Alice. you think her back is to... No, that's not Alice. This is I some random was... oh, girl. Okay. I thought it was Alice. This, like, you you know. think her back is to you, but then her front is to you, and she's, Ooh. And she's like, yeah, I've been here too long, <laughs> she says, and she just goes crazy on her for no reason. And then when she plugs it back in, this little girl chases her, Wee! and then that's when she goes up against the door, and then Jessica pulls Jessica her out. Pulls her out. That was our imagination. That was the big imagination in one of the rooms. It was either Getty Images or that. I guess it, I, I might as well take Here's Getty Images. Here's my question, though. They're in imagination land, land or whatever. Which is basically she, just empty rooms on an empty set. Yeah, and uh, just got scissors. Taylor's like, well, the scissors aren't going to help you against that big-ass bear. He's like, let me use my imagination. No, she's, you think she's fucking Hal Jordan. <laughs> I guess she's a comic artist. <laughs> well, later on, she does use the 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 scissors, and, and it actually harms the bear. Super effective. That, but that's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I Fiskers it was don't fuck well. around. They but now do, Joe just fixed it for they you. They could do Alex, more stuff here. In though. the imagination world, the scissors are a powerful tool. But they could do more stuff. No, he's saying <laughs> that you can turn it into like a sledgehammer. Or, or yeah. a, oh, you want to turn it into what I wanted, Where which is Dream Warriors, Freddy. Freddy Might as well. Dream Warriors. The it would have been lady, more interesting. The old lady even more said interesting. herself. The old right. lady was like, w- w- anything you could drink. The dumbest shit. We're not there yet. Well, now we're there. Okay. So then they chase in the lady, and then they find the little girl, Alice, and she is, of course, surrounded by toys and uh, dollhouses and, te- mm-hmm. and tea. And she's like, I don't want to leave. I have all this stuff. I even have gifts here. And, and then uh, my mom is here, too. I have both my moms here, and you're supposed to be like, Ooh, I'm so creeped out. And then the mom shows up. And she's, eee. 
she's smiling, but she doesn't look overly creepy. It's just whatever. She's like, stay, blah blah blah. Yeah. Like, don't listen to her. She's the demon, the monster. Has to come with us. And she's like, no, I don't want to go. And then Jessica has a bright idea, and this is the dumbest shit. This this was what I call like stupid. This is just stupid. You can see the writers smelling their own farts, and they're like, oh, if I'm in the world of imagination, then. I will tear this place apart because tearing things is building things. And she Only blue starts, items. And you put blue on the wall blue to make a blue it, door. It's almost as it, and, and the, the shots of her taking various things, it's like, okay, just use whatever we have in the room. Like they're making it whatever up as blue, they go yeah, along. Like blue, and ice, then, cupcake. And then and they put that, and it makes stream. a door out of her paper mache. And I was like, oh, this is, oh God, this is so cringe. So fucking cringe. But and then worse. it gets worse. So at one point when we're in the – when we're walking through these rooms, there's a portrait on one of the rooms of the family, but the family has bug eyes. And I remember the first time hearing the, the old lady <gasps> – just for the picture. And I was like, really? <laughs> the bug eyes got you? The, 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 the beady eyes? They but, look like beads? But they were like this. Yeah, they did move their head. Uh, okay, so <laughs> then when when we when she's building the blue door, all of a sudden, you know, as it seems like, okay, come with us, and then Alice does come with her because she's like, oh, I like tearing things apart. I'm a little girl. I like just breaking things. It's like I want to go home now. Yeah, I want to go home now. And and then the mother turns evil and she does her beady eyes, but the camera pans to her. You don't see her. You know. Meld into it or anything. Yeah, yeah. and this is why I laughed. They cut it. The makeup. The makeup guy. I laughed. Like with, they, I, this looked the fucking eye. funny. They just look like bugs. You can't leave. Why? You, you can't leave you Don't but leave. The one that did it better. <laughs> the story that I liked Joe was uh, Coraline. Coraline. Coraline did it way fucking better. Yeah, because I had the oh, button eyes. That, yeah. But this one was just it's a, if, if the, the girl, little girl going to like a secret world and mm -hmm. there's a fake family and they'll have button eyes and oh, I mean, no it's a, well it's a Neil Gaiman like it's the a scary I like for it. kids okay. yeah, yeah yeah but that so, one did a bit this one with like bug eyes that like a teddy bear one so then Jessica's like, get away from me bitch and she bunches her she falls, her, into, she falls the, into the boxes uh, and the gifts and then turns into the bear and the bear comes up and it's like but I'm not thirty scared. minutes later though they could have easily left yeah because yeah. she's like in there for a long but time. but she stabs the bear with whiskers sit around yeah well they go through the door but they go through it really slowly or something yes. no she's sinking into the the ground well after oh. but they, oh, they, right, they, she could have easily yeah made they could have all whatever. left but jessica for some reason is like go i will stay behind that yeah. sentence Why? you, you could have left been, yes <laughs> instead of saying that goddamn sentence that's what joe's that, talking about you could have so just then dove when the in. bear comes after it doesn't really come after it just grabs her it, like it you starts know, the sinking melt, yeah, yeah. The, the room starts melting and this sounds way more creative when we're it's, repeating it but it's not it's the not, way it's filmed the it's way not. it's uh shot the way it's lit the music all Your imagination is, really is way fucking better than what, what you're doing right now. Yeah, is way better. Yes. She's yes. also discovered at this point that she was under the impression that her father just kind of lost his mind when her mother died. Oh, yeah, um, and then insane. so she sees uh, apparently within within imagination land, it's also like a time portal oh, because she's one more thing in imagination. Land. She can yeah. see. Th she looks she, through a, a painting. She looks through a painting and it, it, she can see exactly into her basement when she was a kid because none of them know how she escaped imagination land when she was kidnapped. And it turns out her father broke into Imagination Land and rescued her. But before he could get out, the thing grabbed him and right like, before. And then and it was like sucking his soul and his eyes. He looks at it and his eyes go wide. I wish it was suck your soul out, yeah. but it's so much dumber. Yeah, he actually so shows dumber. the collective imagination of every child in the world. Is This is what the old lady says. And mm -hmm. she's the exposition grandma, so she knows. She shows him and his imagination isn't powerful enough to see that. And so he loses his mind. And he goes blind. That is what happened. Our dad lost his mind because he saw the imagination of children. Yeah. All right. So sick but kids he, managed out there. It, he managed to punch it and get it and then cover it with like paint. 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 Or something. Yeah. Some yeah. weird. It's just his idea. But his crying. idea apparently <gasps> is the only me. way to do it in the second time. I thought he was a deadbeat. So finally, uh, when she's sinking, um, what happens? How she she falls down into the hallway scene again. Um, she and it sees... appears they, they, they do the audio where she breaks her leg. And so I was expecting her to have to, you know, crawl. But then she gets back up and it's a small limp. Yeah. yeah. I was like, oh, what, that th what happened? Mm. Okay, fine. But she's running. She eventually gets out. She still has her scissors. She's trying to pry it. And I was like, what? Well, this is imagination. 
turn the scissors into, into a doorknob. Thing, right. Turn it into a yeah. doorknob. Monster comes up behind her and she stabs her with the scissors and it works. Is that when she does it? I'm get, I'm drawing a blank at how she gets out of there the first time. Taylor. Taylor comes back and no, opens the door. No, the second time. First time. What do you mean the first time? Uh, how she get out? And thinks everything's cool. When the... Oh. Um, Shit, we can't even yeah, fucking see, remember it, it's, it's so bad. It's so fucking forgettable. So, yeah. <sighs> wow. I think she does go through the floor. The floor isn't... She goes to the floor, and it goes back to our Beetlejuice room, where yeah. she snaps her leg, mm-hmm. but, but, I, but it's but not I, a snapped leg. It's not a snapped leg. I think she does go through. She she gets in there. Um, so she goes that way. Does she open the original door she opens that the, the grandma did? Yeah, because she's like putting her, her scissors in there. And then she gets it to and, work and, with the scissors. And she gets out. Fine. And then you think, and then it it appears that it's like days later and the dad's back. And they're, she's reading her new novel to her her dad, who now she knows is not a deadbeat. And everything's super happy. And the dialogue's fucking terrible. Yes, yeah. yeah, yeah. so at the very end of the book, she's like, oh, the spider finally caught up to the centipede and wrapped him all his arms. The and end. that means... He loves her. The end. They all clap, and I was like, yeah. "This is imaginary," because that fucking book sucked. Yeah. <laughs> and lo and behold, it was. And lo and behold, in her imagination, her book is good. <laughs> yeah. She looks at the little girl's arm. And is like, "Oh no, I'm still here, ain't I?" It's like, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. they're surrounding her father, and she's telling her, "Dad, I knew how you saved me, and I just appreciate and." But something's wrong, and everybody's too happy, and everybody's saying nice things, and I'm like, beady eyes, and it's like, okay, I like that. I like when that happened, and you executed fine. That that one worked, and again, this is why we give it three and not two and one. Mm -hmm. Um, This one little bit worked, and then ah, you're still here. So then she runs, and And then like uh, she uh, Taylor comes back. It's so stupid because like she's there, and they just stand, and she runs, and one one tries to come after, but the others are like super slow, and I'm like. Do you want to get her or not? I don't know. Yeah, because yeah. Taylor comes back into with a, spider. Uh, um, a hockey. Field hockey field stick. Hockey well, stick. It, ex- it explains why she was going through so many TikToks of field hockey, and you're like, that is why you made me sit through 30 seconds oh of her going God, through field right. hockey TikToks. At yeah, the she, of the film, she had it. Like, Let's put it in the closet. I was like, oh, you're going to use that. Got yeah. It. It's like, great. And so then they escape. And, uh, <laughs> you know, this is something. So the little girl, Alice, is an interesting character. So she's interesting because her mom has had issues, and so she's obviously traumatized. She's got severe burns on her arms, and so she's traumatized by fire. They hint at it. If we went to her imagination land and they had to deal with like a like the fucked upness of a child's imagination around fire, or like the horrors of having to go to a psych ward with your mom, they could have done so much we cool could shit. Have an eight out of ten, nine out of ten, but 10 we had out of 10. Beetlejuice hallway, three out of ten. It's- so then, so the, so they get out and they're and she's like, "Oh no, wait, no, we could still be in this. We have to do this right. Everybody, stay here, and we're gonna cover it with paint." Uh, but the monster bursts through anyway and is starting to look into everybody's eyes. Don't look into the eyes, and everyone and everyone, everyone. decides <laughs> to look into the eyes except for the little girl. It just so looks like I, someone's changing the channel on his eyes too fast because it's not anything like cool. It's, not cool. it's, it's just, just like, like a television screen or something, yeah. and it looked goofy. It's a goofy CGI and looked dumb. And the little girl is like. And so she's a great actress, like I'm saying, this little girl. And then she she knows, even though she's like, fuck, you know, she has trauma with the fire. So she does it anyway. And she's the one that lights the fire. Yeah. Like lights uh, the demon I on guess fire. A paint can or no, not a paint can. Something, like paint something falls down something, and yeah. then starts going to her. She's like, all right, I got to do it. I w- I totally checked out at this point in the movie. Like I have no, I don't care about anything. I was super hoping when she throws the match down, the lighter fluid goes to her sister and stepmom instead. It just like burns them. <laughs> they were because in look, the this way. movie fucking was awful. Uh, at least that would have been interesting. There's, there's Alex's imagination. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so then it burns the demon, and the demon falls <laughs> back, and then the blue light. It's so funny that the blue light has that sci-fi sound that goes just yeah. to let the audience know. Okay, is it, that, it's, that's done. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty powerful. And light. then the house is burning. And it's on fire, and they run outside, and she goes, oh, oh my God, the house is on fire. She's like, let it burn. And the fire but department already there. Soon, and then Joe, and Joe as turns As soon to as me. they ran out there, you see the fire trucks turning in. I was like, like wait, nobody called. They're, they're still in imaginary, or in imaginary land because there's no way the, the fire, fire department showed up right then and there. 
Yeah, because the That's fire has not even the reached fire department. the fire has not even reached the other levels of no! the house. And the it, yeah. But no, it was just I don't know, it was just stupid. It's the ending, yeah. happy ending movie time, and so then they go to a hotel, and when they walk in the hotel, they see a bear um, looking like it's on its own. Do you see that? I said, I see that too. But it's a kid playing with the bear. He reveals himself, and they're like. Let's go to a different hotel. It's like, good idea. You know, we're supposed to clap and be happy, and they leave. And as they leave, the kid is like, this is my imaginary friend, Mom. His name is this. Uh, he's always this, hungry. He's always hungry. But they don't say Chauncey, but they just say, this always hungry. So yeah. oh, the, the demons are still out of there affecting the kids, be it Chauncey, be it some other I demon. Want, I don't give a I fuck. Don't want a I don't want it to be a number two. It, it, <laughs> I always have to bring up. Ouija or Ouya, uh, what is the Ouija board film? Oh, the, the first one first, sucked, yes. and then the second one, which was a prequel, is actually pretty good. That one was better, yeah. And so I was like, I hate that that happened because now it's like, all right, well, if you want to press the gas and hit the gas and do this again, you would have to, you'd have to get somebody with creativity. You'd have to get the trauma team. You'd have to get somebody really good with practical effects yeah. and and monster makeup and stuff like that. And then really make those worlds amazing. But they're not going to have the budget. They, they're not going to do that. Cause no. I, I, it's like Annabelle, right? So Annabelle's getting a sequel. $10 million budget. Annabelle, we saw the potential of. We think that the rating held it back. It's a Blumhouse thing. But it did well enough where they're like, hey, we're going to do a second one. And we're going to tr- like take the, you know, this is not the same situation where I think that the no. same group of people could make a sequel that's better. I, I don't think there's any hope for any of these people. Not enough scary moments, not well executed, and yeah, forgettable. I mean, we even struggled to come up with. They even called the dad. The dad just left the movie. Oh <laughs> shit! The dad never came back. No, it's only been a day. The hotel. Would you not be like, like oh my god, it's crazy! The, the house is on fire. He's, he's on. He's on tour, so you, in oh, theory, he's, he's 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 in a band, right? So like, look, I don't. Know. He he drove somewhere else, and he's let's we'll just say he's not in state. They, they could have done movie, something real quick though, real yeah. quick. Be like, when she's missing, be like, she's missing. 55 I need, she's minutes like, for this review. It doesn't fucking deserve it. Or she could be like, hey, Alice is missing. I don't know where she's at. I'm be there as soon as I can. He's like. Pulling in at the very end. He's like, all right, let's go. Mm-hmm. Something about the, the whatever. Yeah. That and then he has bug eyes, yo. His <laughs> 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 bug eyes is creepy the out, man. They're, they're beady. <laughs> and when I mean beady, they look like beads inside. Yeah, with the like <laughs> little flaps of skin they put in. So it stupid. just looks terrible. It looks terrible. All right, thank you guys so much for watching to the end of this. And you don't have to waste your money now. No, and when it comes no, out on VOD, no. you can make fun of it with the rest of us. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you on the next Angry Joe Show. Bye, guys.